This video is on adding and subtracting radicals. So just like we can only combine like terms, we can only add or subtract like radicals. So what that means is the radical has to have the same index. So remember what an index is, the little number right here. So in this case, since there is none, it's a 2. This one's a 3. Okay, so they have to match. And whatever the expression, whatever is inside the radical, also has to match. And remember what we call the inside of the radical. It's called the radican. So this has to match. And this has to match. If not, we can't add them. So it's just like if we have 5x plus 3x, when we're adding, they have to be like terms. They have to match same variable and the same exponent in order to add them and make 8x. So just like 5x plus 3x is 8x, 5 rad 2 plus 3 rad 2 is 8 rad 2. So think of the radical part like an x. So just like 5x plus 3x is 8x, so this part stayed the same, the radical stays the same. So if ever you're taking a test or working on homework and you don't remember if you're supposed to add these, the easy way to know the answer to that is if you check with your calculator. So if we enter this in as 5 times radical 2 plus 3 times radical 2, it will give us a decimal, which is 11.31. If this is correct, and we did this correctly by not adding these, then this should have the same decimal. So 8 times square root of 2 is the same thing. So if you feel like you're going to accidentally do 2 plus 2 is 4, if you use your calculator to check, that's how you'll know if you did it correctly. So let's go ahead and try another one. x plus x, so just like there's an imaginary 1 in front of a variable, because it means multiplication, and 1 can be multiplied to anything, 1x plus 1x is 2x. Well, similarly, if we have 3 cube root 4 plus 3 cube root 4, that's 2 cube root 4. And again, we can put this in our calculator and see that these would have the same decimal answers. So if we have 6x plus 1x, we're adding the coefficient, the number in front of the variable, they match, so it makes 7x. And similarly, if we have 6 rad 5 plus 1 rad 5, that would make 7 rad 5. If we had 4x plus 3y, we can't simplify that because they are not like terms. One has an x and one has a y. So same thing here. Even though the index are both the same, they're both square roots, because these don't match, it can't be simplified. So if you were to be simplifying a problem, and you're left with this, this would be your final answer. So if we want to do a couple more examples here, if we have 2 rad 6 minus 7 rad 6, we would do 2 minus 7, and remember we can do that because they're like radicals, these match. So 2 minus 7 is negative 5, and then we keep the rad 6. Okay. Then if we have 1 rad 15 minus 3 rad 15, since these match, we are allowed to do 1 minus 3, which is negative 2 rad 15. Over here we have 4 times the cube root of 5 plus 3 times the square root of 5. So since the index here is a 3, and this one, there's nothing there, we know it's a 2. Since they don't match, this can't be simplified. All 
Alrighty, now if we take a look at number 8, we can't simplify these because they don't match. We have to have the same index, which they do, and we have to have the same radicand value inside here. So we can't simplify this as it is. So if whatever's inside the radical is not completely simplified, we need to simplify them first to see if we can make these the same. So on this problem here, we couldn't do it because they have different index. There's no way to make them the same. But on this problem here, if we simplify the square root of 27, so remember we learned how to do that in the last section. So if we take the square root of 27, you can either make a factor tree or you can break it down into the square root of 9 times the square root of 3. And the square root of 9 is 3, and then we can't do the square root of 3, so we get 3 rad 3. So we would essentially take this out, and we would replace it with 3 rad 3. So that's the simplified version. And then this 3 was already there, so we're going to bring it down. And since a 3 next to a radical means times, that's why we're multiplying this, so this is now 9 rad 3 here. And then, once you make sure both of the radicals are simplified, if these match, that means we can do this problem. So since these match, then we can do negative 2 plus 9, which is 7, and then rad 3. And then the cool thing again is if we want to check this, we can go back, because what if we made a mistake here, right? So the cool thing is that we can go back and enter this in our calculator as negative 2 times the square root of 3 plus 3 times the square root of 27. We always want to put in the original problem. And then we're going to jot that down, so it's about 12.12. And now we're going to take our answer and put that in our calculator. And it's also 12.12. So then we know, okay, good, our answer this does simplify from that.